So, where do I get more bullets? Uh, you kill dudes who have guns? Yeah. Uh, gunmen will frequently drop, uh, quicksilver bullets. Okay. Al- alternatively, if you feel okay sacrificing some health, I think it's up on the D-pad yeah. to, uh... Yeah, you trade about half your health for about ten bullets, if I remember right. Hmm. Uh, it's, it's more like a fifth. But, at any rate, yeah, you can, you can trade health for bullets if you are so inclined. Right, I, I believe it's time for another story. Oh yeah, go for it. <laughs> so I was working at a Burger King in Colorado. I was scared of spiders at the time and worked the cash register at drive through I'm pretty sure it was a Monday when this happened, go figure. A customer had come up to me while I was cleaning a table and asked if I could kill a spider. The spiders here are small nine times out of ten. This one was the tenth time. Because when I entered the bathroom, the biggest fucking spider you've ever seen was sprawled out on the floor. I wouldn't go near the thing, but I had co-workers to impress and a customer who was counting on me. So I caught him hop from the back and returned to the bathroom, pointing it like a spear. The spider was gone. So I returned to the cash register and continued until my shift was done. Fast forward a few days to an unbelievably hot Thursday. A customer approaches me again, asking if I could take care of a big-ass spider in the bathroom. I immediately got a mop and went uh, to investigate. Whether or not the customer was joking, I'm not sure, because there's nothing in there. Oh wait, damn it. Ah, fucked it up. Ah, god, this guy worded it so poorly. Whether or not the customer was joking, I'm not sure, because there was not one spider, there were two. Ooh. Oh my. See, I interpreted that as no spiders. God damn it. I blasted one with the mop. The other one bolted right at the mop, and I screamed and jerked it away, charging from the bathroom. I told the manager, and he said it probably wouldn't be a problem. And for about a week, he was right. Until one of the fuckers got itself killed in the French fryer. The customer who discovered the fried eight-legged surprise in her order put in a complaint with the company. Guess who had to search for the spiders again? The last straw happened only four days afterward. It was a Monday again, and I was cleaning up after some guy who managed to get an entire layer of salt all over a table. A frenzied customer runs from the bathroom yelling, they're everywhere, they're goddamn everywhere. My coworker handed me the mop and followed me into the bathroom. The wall was covered with small gray dots that were moving. Somehow the spiders had babies. We had to call an exterminator to get rid of them. They had to cut the walls open and they killed over a hundred adult and baby spiders. Jesus. Hello. <laughs> After that, I had to quit my job, get a dog, and move north where the spiders are less common. <laughs> Well, that's one way to do it. So, what does this game do for like a like a bloodstain system to recover your souls? That is exactly what it is. <laughs> yep. <laughs> a, a little bit different, though. Sometimes your bloodstain can be attached to the enemy that killed you. Oh yeah, right. Yeah. I, I forgot about that. Yeah, yeah so, I think that happened earlier. Yeah, basically, um, most of the time, it'll just be where you died, but if you get killed by a specific enemy, that enemy will have them, and you will have to go kill them to get them back. Also, sometimes, uh, if you die to terrain, a nearby enemy just might have them for unknown reasons. I see. I'm being told that my notes are being rated fine, and I do not remember what notes that I put in this game at <laughs> all. It has been all so long since I played this. Oh, Bloodborne does have a note history you can check. Oh, oh, no, that was a running attack. I wanted to just hit him. Where did I put my... Oh, I haven't written any notes with my character. Hm. Oh, the game remembers uh, per, on a per-character basis? Yeah. And I know I've left notes everywhere with my uh, main one. I like, hear... stupid ones. <laughs> I 
hear something just big. Well, you should probably find out what it is. Yeah, have a look around, see what you can find. Uh, seems to be on the other side of that thing, the gate. Oh, I'm sure it's nothing then. Ooh. Yeah, it's probably not an issue. <laughs> I mean, the gate isn't shuddering with every sound effect. I, I think you're fine. <laughs> The, uh, the other gate, the one down in the uh, road? Oh, we'll call that, a that road. gate. <laughs> yeah, the gate that you're looking for is the big one. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? The uh, Molotov you tried to throw that just kind of disappeared when you fell off the wagon. Yeah, I'm going to assume falling uh, canceled my animation there. Okay. Now there goes our gate falling off the wagon again. <laughs> Does this game have backstabs or no? I uh, yes and no. In order to get a sort of in order to get a backstab, if like hold R two for a second. One sec. Yeah, yeah, once you find some safe ground. Yeah. This game tried to avoid the issue that uh, Dark Souls PvP had where uh, laggy people could just chain backstabs. You have to prime it with a fully Oops. charged R2, basically. Wait, what? Okay, so basically if you hold R2, you'll, you'll charge up an attack. If you yep. hit somebody from behind with that attack, they'll fall over, and then you can do a backstab. Oh. Okay. Uh, this guy seems to be having some problems. You should help him. Eh, he, he fixed it. <laughs> oh. Also, have these uh, townies been shouting any interesting phrases at you? They they have, but I'm not really paying attention. Okay. Hmm. Should do that. This town's finished. What the fuck is this? Something about being finished? Oh! I didn't know you could- Oh, I guess this is the new NPCs. I didn't realize you could summon him. <laughs> Well, basically, one of my favorite things these villagers yell is, for me anyway, one of the rarer things they say. Sometimes they'll just shout, I'll mess up your brain. <laughs> <laughs> I love that, it's so stupid. It's so specific, too. Oh man, good throw. I'm liking and the throwing arc on the uh on Bloodborne. Yeah, you got a pretty good throwing arm on you. It's a lot better than Demon Souls. That's it's for sure. It's a lot better than really any of the Souls games, if we're being honest. <laughs> <laughs> like there are some real sad limp people in the Souls games. That is very true. Poor Dark Souls 2, and it's it's weird, like I don't even know what to call that throw. <laughs> oh no, a sinister bell is being rung. Why did I summon him? I don't know where the bell woman is in this part. <laughs> okay, well I see who was pounding on the door. Yeah, you should go say hello. Yeah. He, he looks unarmed. You could probably handle him. You say that, but... <laughs> also, these people are rude as hell. <laughs> A little bit. All right, buddy. Oh, yeah, he notices. <laughs> oh, he's not unarmed at all. He's got a brick. <laughs> Whatever will you do? Wow. 
you with these sick dodges, except for when he shoved you. <laughs> That was cool. Oh, you actually knocked him into a, uh, a repost state. Yeah, but that's what you, I thought. You hit him in a weird angle, though. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that... I suppose that happens when you can parry from basically any angle. Yeah. Also, you have a torch now. Alright, I'm... Cold blood do? Um, those are just, like, your soul items. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's like a hero's soul, or a... Well, definitely not a hero's soul, it's yeah, was, like a... I was about to say, it seems a little early to be giving me a hero's soul. It's like a soul of an unnamed wanderer, soldier, or something. Wait, how do I equip my, uh, torch? Uh, your, your I... torch is actually a weapon! <laughs> yeah, oh. I'll put it in your alternate gun slot. Yeah, oh, or your, okay. Or your alternate main weapon, you know, whichever you want to roll with. Uh, no, it's gun only, actually. Is it? Okay, uh, I did not know that. One thing Bloodborne does wrong is it, it specifically dictates what equipables go in which hand. Oh no, I've been invaded by Kid Bro Sweep. <laughs> <laughs> Aha, here he comes, I found him. So is there any reason to uh, keep my saw in, I guess, closed form? If you wanted to swing faster. Duly noted. Like, if you if you know you're going to get in close, you might as well have faster swings. That's a good point. Ah, he killed me. Alas. Rip. Oh, and a, a fun thing you should try doing... You should try hitting L1 in the middle of a combo. I'll have to try that on the next encounter. Okay. Okay, while I'm on this screen, um... What does the... The I icon to the left of the bottom blood vial mean? That means it goes straight to your storage box. Oh, okay, so there's a limit then. Yeah, you can, yeah, you can you only are... hold 20 with you at a time, but you can hold up to 99 in a box that'll automatically refill when you die. Okay. Generally speaking, I had a few moments where it freaked out and didn't refill for some reason. But generally speaking, it will automatically refill for you. That's a big... Ooh, these things. Right. Hey, <laughs> yep. I'm gonna go this way first. Good idea. Well, that was enlightening. <laughs> oh, wait, there's a thing here. Bloodstone shard. Uh, say hello to Titanite chunks. Oh, or Titanite shards. Shards. Are shards. Titanite, say hello to Titanite. All right, you're gonna want to hang a left here, by the way. Go down the stairs. Yes. You, sir, are close to opening up a shortcut, so keep going that way. Uh, I don't know if it's this way specifically, but yeah, you're gonna want to. You're gonna want to hang a left before you go meet the your wolf friends up there. Okay. Oh no, you're right. But oh, also be careful. <laughs> I got it. I got it. <laughs> right. Trying to get these pe this pebble. Is that like the um those prism stones? No, pebbles are uh, no. They actually like they're, they're pebbles. You throw them at things to get you their attention. Oh, yeah. Um, without a bow and arrow to uh, you know draw aggro. Oh, I hate that phrase. You you throw rocks instead. <laughs> Wait, was there anything else down there to look at or? Um, there was that one door you broke open down there that led to an, an alternate path, but I don't- that's not where we want to go right this second. Yeah, not right now. Keep that in mind. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go back up to the, uh, the big, uh, wolf things. Yeah, I was- for the shortcut, I was thinking of something slightly later. Damn.
Yeah, you're already getting the hang of the, uh... Stun lock him with the quick swipes and then get out, you know, hit and run tactic. Oops, just in time. Don't you do it! Ah, oh, you done did it! Did it! Ah! Uh, Damn it, Argate! We believed in you. I thought I had it. Now I have to read about this angry Arby's customer. <laughs> you do that while I get back up to um, up to there. What is going on in the call here? What in the how now? Oh, hey, Jobo, you're back. So. Do you have audacity going? I totally do, actually. Okay. Oh, oh okay. Now okay, I, so we just need to sync you up then. I just gotta remember where chaos is in terms of <laughs> streaming. Beam. Uh, well. uh, yeah, that's what I thought. But yeah, I, <laughs> if you have audacity going, um, I think yeah, I let's just do a sync then. What? Let me know when you're ready. I'm ready whenever. All right, let's sync in three, two, one. one. Sink. Good enough. Now that you're synced, I can read about the angry Arby's customer. <laughs> <laughs> this story takes place during my last week working at Arby's, and I was training the guy who would be taking my position after I returned to school. At this point in the night, we were working behind the front counter, taking orders, making milkshakes and whatnot. It was a weeknight, so not too much happening. Around 6.30 or so, this guy walks in and uh, places his order. He was dressed in workplace type clothes, so I assumed he was just picking up some food on his way home from work. I greet him with the usual, hi, welcome to Arby's, what can I get for you today? He places two orders, complete with two large milkshakes. It's important to note that Arby's milkshakes are fairly pricey, and two large shakes add up to around ten dollars. Trust me, this is relevant. He pays, I give him his pager, and turn around to get started on his milkshakes. Before I get very far, he mumbles, can I take the menu home with me? It takes me a second to understand what he's asking, and I pause for half a second because no customer has ever asked this before. My response was going to be, I'm sure that's fine, but let me double check with the manager to be certain. Before I get a chance to answer, he slams the menu down on the counter and yells, Whatever! I don't need the damn menu. It's not my fault that my wife is a paraplegic and it would be nice to have a physical menu to look at instead of having to waste time going on the damn website, but you assholes won't even give me a cheap menu to take home. Uh, uh, he, okay. <laughs> that escalated. <laughs> Zero to 100 miles per hour and Jesus Christ. I stood there, flabbergasted, and tell him, Sir, I'm sure it's fine. Please take a menu. Seriously, it's alright. It's no problem at all. We have plenty more. But he huffs and mutters more obscenities before stomping to the other side of the restaurant to wait for his food. Alright then. So I go to make his milkshakes, all the while explaining the procedure to the guy I'm training. While this is going on, the customer is harassing the cooking staff, screaming that they're taking too long to make his food. He ordered a lot of food, and by this point he had been there for a total of two minutes. He eventually gets his food, and storms to the door, and doesn't realize he's forgotten his milkshakes. So naturally, I yell, sir, you forgot your milkshakes, and begin to approach him to hand them to him. <laughs> His back is turned to me, but I can tell that he did the most dramatic sigh before turning around and stomping over to me. He grabs both shakes, slams them on the floor, and screams, Fuck the milkshakes! With that, he leaves. Another typical night at Arby's. <laughs> wow. Thanks. Something. To say something, something nihilist Arby's? Yeah. <laughs> I hate my yeah. wife! <laughs> My, your wife's paraplegic, and you just want some goddamn milkshake. Nothing matters. Eat at Arby's. <laughs> Perfect. 